It sure does just feel right to have Supernatural airing on Halloween. And when I watch Supernatural on Halloween, I watch it in style, baby. Season 8, Episode 5, Blood Brother. I am so happy to have this episode. It's a good one this time, after the last two episodes, which were meh, followed by just plain blah. This episode, as you may have gleaned from the title, is centered around Dean's new vampire buddy, Benny, this time. Dean's there too, as is Sam, thankfully, so it's not like last week's episode. But this is primarily a supported character-focused app, so Benny's the main driving force of the plot here. And it's actually a pretty damn good plot, too. It's a rather compelling revenge drama that also just happens to feature vampires. Actually, scratch that. They're vampirates, to use a term of Dean's, which will no doubt be quickly taken up by the fandom. Gotta love that classic witty supernatural writing. So like I said, vampirate revenge drama. Benny hits up Dean to get his assistance with clearing out his old vampire nest and getting vengeance upon his spiteful master, who was the one to originally kill him, and therefore why he was in purgatory in the first place. So this episode gets into Benny's backstory quite a bit, which is great. Benny's been pretty enigmatic so far. We've known he and Dean were brothers in arms back in Purgs, but we never really got a good fix on him. In fact, in his last appearance, he seemed pretty menacing. I personally thought he was going to end up being a villain, but in this episode, we see a much softer side of him. In fact, his backstory includes lost love, so now he's a pretty sympathetic character. That's the main reason for his vengeance. His maker killed the girl Benny left the nest for right in front of his eyes, so it's a personal quest. I definitely appreciate this dive into his character. He could still end up turning into a villain eventually, and I don't entirely trust him, but for now, he seems like a cool dude. If he goes bad, it'll be tragic. But there's no reason he can't be a good guy. Good vampires do exist, and like I said in the Last Thoughts video, not all monsters are evil. And he says he's given up the killing humans and draining them on the Seven Seas vampirate business, so... He seems like he's redeeming himself for his past life. Or unlife, I guess, being a vampire and all. So I say we just need to get a little bit more from Benny in the normal world before we can really trust the guy. And that trust issue will surely be playing a big part in episodes to come, considering Sam's reaction to meeting Benny and finding out about Dean's secret bro and all at the end of this app. But speaking of the normal world, or lack thereof, I suppose, this episode features more Purgus stories! We see more of Dean, Cass, and Benny's adventures, beheading vamps, other monsters, and even a couple leviathans. And we do get a lot of beheadings in general in this episode, and it's a level of gore that I totally appreciate. And the beheadings come from Dean and Benny's purgatory weapons, which I'm really happy about. I'm glad they didn't just brush those away, they're badass. But yeah, it's more little Purgus stories, nothing major, mostly just a little bit more action for Benny and Cass. Benny even saves Cass from a Levi, so that's gotta be a point for him being a good guy, right? We also get more Sam flashbacks, which are... Um... Weird. They're still awkwardly bright and cute. He started working as a handyman in the hotel he was having his extended stay at over the past year. And it's just so strange to see. Sam was always the one we'd imagine getting a normal life, but this is honestly just too normal for him. Plus, Amelia is really not very endearing. She's just been really bitchy in every episode she's appeared in. Well, except for the picnic scene, but that was just creepy, so... Sam's dog is cute, though, so... But overall, Sam's flashbacks are really starting to be a bummer. There's no chemistry between the two characters that I can see, and the feeling of strange normalness of it all isn't going away. Also, I think it actually hurts it to have his flashbacks be so mixed up. Like, Dean's Purgus stories are chronologically ordered, presenting a straight narrative. Sam's flashbacks are more disjointed. He meets Amelia briefly, then he's having a picnic with her, then he's getting bitched at by her while fixing her sink. It just doesn't feel fluid like Purgus stories do, so that really brings it down. But despite those flaws, I say this episode still gets an 8 out of 10. It was a damn good vampire revenge story and an enjoyable look at our new supporting character. And the Purgus stories never hurt. So thank you, Ben Edlin. You bounce this season back. Next week's episode looks like it'll be good too. 
It's written by Adam Glass, and he's done some, well, I don't want to say good episodes, but at least decent ones. And it looks like it'll put the brothers against each other, and that's always interesting to watch. And it'll feature Garth, so <laughs> I'm down to that. But until then, I hope you had a good Halloween, and I will see you next week, ass butts.